What we're going to demonstrate here today is an Altair 8800 running an Altair mini disc controller and a Tarbell single sided single density controller, both in the computer at the same time, with a BIOS that supports both of them. Drives A and B are the mini disc drives uh, from the Altair controller. Drives C and D are the two Tarbell drives, which in this case are the 8 inch single sided single density IBM standard you see down at the bottom. I'm going to do an assembly where the assembler comes off of drive A, which is in a little Altair disc. They're very small, only about 60K of usable space. It's going to write the hex file to drive B, which is a small file that will fit on the little Altair drive. It's going to pull the source off of drive C, which will be the bottom left 8 inch drive. It's going to write the listing to the bottom uh, drive, drive D on the right. Take a look at this. To do that in DRI's assembler, you can see that you follow the name of the file with the source drive as C, the object file, the hex file is B, and the listing file is on drive D. So let's go ahead and watch this. All right, there it's loading the ASM off of disk. Now it's gone down and created the two output files. Uh, the drive B up there at the top stays lit because of the motor timeout. Right now we're in pass two. You can see it going between the left drive and the bottom drive on the right. That's the input file and the output file being written. And there is the hex file being written up to drive B. And then drive D is also finishing up the listing file. And then pretty soon you'll see it reboot and go back to drive A. There's that. And then we're back to our prompt and the assembly is done. So there you go. There's an Altair 8800 running both an Altair controller and a Tarbell controller at the same time. This BIOS can also be assembled to have Altair 8-inch drives as well. This was a demonstration with the mini-disc drives.